So pardon my haggardness, but uh, I didn't have time to shower this morning. AHS and the RCMP are currently at the whistle stop and they are locking my doors, changing the locks without a court order. So I'll show you guys what's going on here. <coughs> And there they are. <coughs> this is disgusting. How can any single one of you sleep at night with what you're doing right now? This is absolute insanity. You're protecting a government that's not upholding our rights. How can you do this, Bruce? This is my property and I have the right to enjoy it. And you're upholding these guys is bullshit restrictions that are fucking all of us up. And you know it. And you know it. And so do you. And so do you. You guys, you guys are gonna look people in the eye after you do this? Now you're no better than those assholes that chained off that church. And you know it. You're restricting my rights without due process and it's bullshit. Nothing, nothing to say. I can't engage a bunch of spineless wimps. Really, you have nothing to say? Because there's thousands of people out here that want to talk to you right now. Nothing? No comment. So what next, you chain the door of my house? Because if you think this is gonna stop me, you got another thing coming. Is anybody gonna at least tell me what you're doing here today and why? Go ahead, anybody, we're waiting. Don't you dare touch that building without telling me why you're doing it. Bruce? Chris here provided uh, information. I don't understand it. I was half asleep. So you better explain it to me again. You came at 6.30 in the morning on my day off. If you touch that building without explaining to me why you're doing it, I'm going to call the cops. I can't read it. My eyes are still blurry. You better tell me. Explain yourself right now. Explain who you are and what you're doing here and why. I'm sure you can read. No, you can tell me right now. Sure you if you touch that building and you don't tell me why you're here and who you are, I'm going to have you arrested. Are you too embarrassed to tell me why you're here? It's on the paperwork. Speak up. It's on the Speak up. Tell me. Bruce, these people are failing to identify themselves and tell me why they're here to interfere with my property. And I want you to remove them. 
clearly identifies who he is. No, that doesn't mean anything. And he'll, he'll tell you who he is and, and what his role is. Okay, let's hear it. You don't have to use your last name if you don't want to. Uh, you were closed a while ago. You remained open. You're not allowed to be open. We've suspended your food having permit. You decide to ignore all of the uh, warnings we've given you. You de declined to meet with us when we've asked you to. This is the end point. When did I decline to meet with you? We actually set up a meeting with you that you didn't show up. When was this? We suspended the food permit and it was in the letter. And we didn't hear from you. We continued to... I never had a letter to meet with you. It wasn't a letter. It was in the food permit suspension notice. Why didn't you guys speak to that when we were, when we were talking? We've talked before and I've never not answered you. If you wanted to have a meeting, I would have met with you absolutely 100%. I have before and I would have now. Yes, and it was on there and we did ask you to meet with us. It was on the letter, but we didn't hear back from you. <laughs> oh, wow. We continued to operate. Mm -hmm. We did request uh, for your staff member to turn off the appliances. Mm -hmm. Hasn't been done though. So what about all the other stuff in there that isn't safe right now when you guys change these locks? Because we'll, we'll take possession of the, of the business at this point. You're going to take possession of my business without going to court? Sorry, we're, uh, we're going to actually take, take control of the building. You're going to can take control of my property before you go to court? And we're going to make sure that if you need to get in, we'll arrange for you to get in to get, your, to get any sort of belongings or receipts <clears throat> or anything else you need. So from, from our perspective, this will control the business after that point. Bruce, these people have just told me that before I get due process, they're going to interfere with my rights. This is something that uh, you'll have to... I know you're going to say it's a matter for the courts. It's not a matter for the courts. It's a matter for the courts. And, and I encourage you to, I know you have a lawyer engaged, but I encourage you to discuss it with the lawyer. So the Bill of Rights means absolutely nothing. Neither does the Alberta Bill of Rights. You guys cannot interfere on my rights for any reason without due process. It's right in the Bill of Rights. I suggest you read it because I'm sure you're going to be testifying to this matter. I understand what you're saying. You understand what I'm saying? You understand the Bill of Rights? I understand what you're saying. Okay, do you understand the Bill of Rights? I don't think that anybody actually has a, 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 the opportunity at this point to discuss constitutional or the Bill of Rights or otherwise. Why is that? We've the Bill of Rights says you have to discuss it with me before the fact, not after the fact. We've given you all the paperwork that we need you to provide with. We've given you dates to meet with us to discuss these issues. You've declined to either read it or understand it or even bother. So this is what we're, we're in, our end point is. Hmm. Um, can you show me where you invited me to meet with you? Because every other time you've invited me to meet with you, it's with a phone call or an email. Hmm. I noticed you did actually receive notice uh, notice of being suspended with all the, the uh, paper on top of the permit. We should take that today too. Yeah, it's all in there. Yeah. I'll just grab that, Bruce, okay? So you guys had to get up awfully early to come here and do this. Was it, uh, were you worried about coming here when there's people here? To catch the long soldier who was by herself off guard. Of course, one staff member on. Serving gas and sandwiches this morning too. Mm-hmm. So they don't mind picking on one person. They just don't have the balls to come here while there's while everybody's here, all you guys who support what we're doing and all you guys who want this to end. So they got to come and pick on the lone worker at 6.30 in the morning when the boss is still sleeping. One, two, three, 
four cop cars blocking the entrances. Oh, there's one entrance open. Oh, the public does not like you guys right now at all. Excuse me? Then you better get the hell in there and make sure this building's safe. There is an officer right there. Does he know how to operate the kitchen equipment? Okay. Give it a few minutes, he can speak with AHS and they'll uh, sell theater if there's anything you need in there. Make the request through... Uh, yeah, actually I do need something in there. I need my business. And this community needs their gas station. So now the community can't get gas because of your guys' bullshit rules. Environmental health officer? Why is there an environmental health officer here? I honestly don't know. Can you look that up? What jurisdiction do they have? Actually, who are you and why are you here? Hey, my name is Chris. I'm with the RTMP. Mm -hmm. I'm working in a community... A conflict management group capacity. Mm -hmm. I'm here to uh, speak with you, hopefully facilitate any conversations uh, with you, uh, with uh, Alberta Health Services. We're here, myself and Dwayne over there, we're here in the interest of uh, public safety. In the interest of public safety? Yes. Well, how do you mean? Well, uh, you know, if you have any requests like, or are, anything. But are, are you worried I'm going to be violent? Attempt, no, I'm not worried you're going to be violent at all. Oh. You, know, you haven't been yet. And I, no, why would I? Uh, yeah, and I uh, you know, haven't followed the history here too in-depthly, but I haven't uh, seen anything of any violence. So what was anything. the title again? The Community Conflict Management uh, is what uh, Dwayne and I are here. Okay, so... For, and then uh, just uh, work here just to engage in conversation and keep it at a conversation level. We don't want things to escalate. Community conflict. So uh, right now, Alberta Health and Alberta Health Services is at extreme conflict with our communities because they're shutting businesses down and forcing them to close. So who's dealing with that conflict? Is the RCMP going to help any of those people? Well, we're here in uh, public safety. No, you're not. You guys are here as a tool uh, of the government. You know it. You absolutely know it. If you were here in the name of public safety, mm -hmm. you'd probably be dealing with um, this kind of crap in a different in a different. You know, we, we had three people commit suicide in this community over the last week. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? No, uh, not this community. And the last uh, one was uh, yesterday. Our officers are attending to a lot of uh, uh, despondent people, distraught people. Do you know why they're despondent and distraught? Mm -hmm. yeah. AHS and Alberta's Health Services. Looking out for the health and safety of Albertans, one closed business at a time and one coffin at a time. Does anybody know why we have an environmental health officer here? What's the difference between an environmental health officer and a public health officer? Oh, okay. You know, one day very soon, all of you fine men and women are going to realize that you're on the wrong side of this. How come Ian didn't come today? It's my day off too. And actually it's her day off too, I know that, but she came.
in here. So I unlock this. You have to do it. Is it Chris? Of course we are. I really could use a oh, bathroom. Don't forget to turn off the open sign. This has been a very popular spot for years. Well, it's even more popular now that we're the, we're the only restaurant open in Alberta. How long have you been in the restaurant? Since July 2019. Yeah. It's a couple years ago. No, yeah. oh. mm -hmm. no, she actually has her. Yeah. I hear it's a good breakfast for them. It's not mine. It is, yep. I don't know whose it is. And it will be again tomorrow. announcements last night for your premier? I didn't watch them. I had my own announcements to do. Um, I might I might actually need your help with something. What's that? Um, this this is gonna go before the courts and I need the names and contact information of everyone's here. Everyone's here. But I'm actually feeling a little bit threatened as they've already taken possession of my business. So I need help with that. Okay, thanks. Is there any reason why they're not letting me access to this place to make sure it's safe? I just went and asked uh, my counterpart there to talk so to Bruce to see if so everything that, like, right actually okay. in Do you have anything you need to grab in there? Do you have any you need to you need to um, I do. I have about $75,000 in inventory I need to get out. Well, Bruce will be out and uh, you can discuss um, that can with I Bruce. Can I ask how this isn't against like, our rights and freedoms as a Canadian? And then I'll yeah, work. Like, why wasn't this private property? Order? Why wasn't there a court order? The bus. I thought she said earlier. No, there wasn't a court order for this. Yeah, because I read the papers. That's not a court order. Yeah, that's not a court order. What they did is they wrote legislation that was inconsistent with the Constitution and didn't take into account the Bill of Rights or the Alberta Rights. They put it into law, and now these people are using it to punish business owners who refuse to comply. Yeah. Does no one understand legal. that we are in such a small town that takeout will not support anything in this restaurant? We, when we were just doing takeout, we weren't even making... Oh, don't do that, folks. That's not right. ...level at all. Not Although, even close. people, if they want to come in here, they can wear a mask. You can wear your gloves, you can wear your... ...COVID suit. <laughs> like, it's not like we're we don't stopping you no. from doing it. If you want to wear your... Piece of paper on your face. Go ahead, go for it. Not gonna hurt you. You want me to wear a paper on the back? Yeah. Make sure you think we'll shut off whatever she's built with us. Is there anything we can make arrangements? Pardon me? We will be able to, like, I think Chris probably talked to you there as well. So, is there any reason why you're letting one of my employees access to the building and you're refusing me access? Oh, well. We'll see what we need to, or what you need to get in there. And you don't you see what I need. I know what no, I need. That's what I'm saying. That's what we just need. So why are you locking the door without giving me access to get my stuff and make sure everything's safe? Are you going to take responsibility for this building if something happens? I need an answer right now. AHS is going to take responsibility for anything that happens to this building because I wasn't allowed to make sure it's safe. 
Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, well, and you speak on behalf of HS? Uh, they'll have, I think that's what they indicated to you there earlier. No, they not. didn't. Okay. They said they're taking control of my building. I don't know what that means. They could be one, They could be bulldozing it or burning it down for all I know. Okay. They haven't told me anything. Okay. So why am I being refused access to get my stuff and make sure that my property is safe? What's the point of that? What do you think I'm going to do? Cook somebody a burger? Is there anything you need right now? Or? I don't know. I have to look. It's 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, we can wake you up. Yeah. So why am I being refused access to make sure the building is safe? Is there anything you need? Probably. I can't guarantee, but we can speak with the yeah. AHS and see if there's something you need to grab or something you need to look at. We can... AHS, we need to speak to you. They won't let me access to the building to make sure it's safe and collect my belongings. Is there a reason for that? There's nothing you can think of specifically, but we just wonder if you Well, I, I can barely think right now, so I don't know. What exactly are you worried about? Am I going to pour somebody a coffee? Could you please make some of Yeah, could you please? It's a little early. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. Oof. Are they leaving without letting me in there to get my stuff and make sure the building's safe? Well, we're, it's, they're leaving, but we're not leaving. I'm not leaving. Neither but you said AHS has control of the building. AHS is still here. Who's going to staff the place? If you guys got control, you better get in there and start cooking. Because people are going to be showing up for breakfast. Morning. Hope you're doing good. Have a good one. That's yeah, easy to open. <clears throat> I know what to do. We hook it up to a truck and just grab it. We should put something. Oh, yeah. We can do it. No, actually, I don't. What? No, I'm sorry. Did you open another one? I came here for a vacation. Right. Why did you open it? So for those of you that have just uh, tuned in, AHS showed up here at the Whistlestop Cafe in Mira, Alberta at about 6.30 this morning on my day off when one of my employees was working all by herself and they brought a locksmith and they chained the door shut. They didn't have the balls to do it when all of you were here or when I was here because they know it would have gone differently. They waited until there was one employee here. And that's what I've been saying this whole time. One piece of grass blowing in the wind isn't very strong, but when there's thousands of us, we can make a difference. Is it time to make a difference yet? Is it gonna be your business next? Our idiot premier just announced more restrictions yesterday that's gonna cause more businesses to fail, more mental health issues on us Albertans and Canadians. 
And and seriously, what are we waiting for? Are we going to let these people destroy our lives and destroy our businesses? Wake up! <clears throat> I've seen a lot of comments about throwing a bunch of angry faces, reducing the feed spread, so I want you guys to do something for me. I want you to like and love this live stream because this live stream is about fighting for our freedoms. For, so for those of you who love your freedom and love your rights and are willing to fight for them, please send some likes and some love this way because that's what we need right now. And there they come. Keep it up, folks. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, let's see what else they're doing. <clears throat> Are you guys breaking into my building? Still have lots of shirts for sale, folks. Um, <laughs> looks like my sister was busy at work making some onesies for the little ones. <clears throat> Are we ever going to go in and make sure this place is safe, or are we just going to hang around here and twiddle our thumbs all day? What's the plan here? Well, that's why we had, they, they decided to allow the, um, your employee in there? No, that's not good enough. Oh. I check on my employee, they don't check on me. Oh, okay. So right now, I did speak with them, and uh, I guess we'll talk to Dave here in a minute once he's finished, so we can make sure that you get it right from Dave. But here, in the meantime, I just want to give you this here. That's my information there, so if you need anything on my end. Yeah, I do. Okay. I need you to help me out, because people are interfering with my rights without due process. That's what I've been saying from the start. These people are ignoring the Bill of Rights. Not just trampling on it, they're completely ignoring it and says it doesn't, they're saying it doesn't exist. And the Bill of Rights says, you may not interfere with my rights for any reason short of a court order. It doesn't say you can pass legislation that allow you to. It doesn't say that you can just decide if you want to in a, in a boardroom somewhere. It says, you must allow me due process. And I've been denied that and you guys are protecting them and you're not protecting me. Well, that would be something you'd have to discuss with them. No, that's and horse shit. That's horse shit. If someone's gonna run somebody over with their car, you help them. Right now, somebody's causing me psychological harm, they're causing damage to my property, they're interfering with my rights, and you're not helping me. Well, we just wanna make sure that, once again, if we're here uh, on behalf of AHS, just to ensure that it's You should be here on behalf of me. Not on behalf of AHS, a government organization. You know they're doing me harm right now, right? They are actually doing me harm. I don't sleep. My family life has suffered. They are doing psychological harm to me and thousands of other Albertans. And you are here for AHS. You don't show up here for me. Well, we're here to make sure that it's safe for everybody. Involved. It's not safe. This is not safe for anybody. Yeah. Anytime the government's allowed to take our rights without due process, it is not safe. But I know that you what happens when it's to, you? you what happens Bruce, when it's uh, you next? It, you talk to Bruce there in regards to this one. <clears throat> Would that be destruction of property? Did you guys break my window out of there? Sorry, excuse me. Nice. Nice. Um. <laughs> I do have better things to do. I actually have a weekend to plan. So why am I being restricted access Here's to the building? We got you. So we got the bottom you. line is we are ordered to closed. You okay. didn't comply with the order. You of course it. I didn't comply. Yeah. It's no. unconstitutional. Why would I comply with it? Why would you? It's the, it's the, it's the law. The law is bullshit. 
It's inconsistent with the Constitution, and it doesn't take into account the Bill of Rights. You have the right to instruct counsel and get your uh, understanding of what the law is, if you're unclear. So that back window is going to have to actually be fixed somehow. And I want to make sure this building's safe. So Then why aren't you letting me access to make sure it's safe? What exactly do you think I'm going to do in I'm that building? Sure. Do you want to guarantee that I'm not going to cause a scene in the building? Because I won't do that. I just want to make sure it's safe. I just want to do a quick walk around, make sure there's nothing in there that I've left, make sure all the gas and everything is off, right. and that's it. So I'll actually do, allow you to do that. Um, I'd like your ideas about this window, because I don't want anything to happen. Well, let's just get a window installed. When, when did that get broke? Oh, it never had a window. There was never a window in there since it's I got this place. It's wide open to the... No, it was in the winter. It's sealed up and insulated. But in the summer, we take that down and put a screen over and use it as a pass bar. Hmm. So it needs a window anyway. So go ahead, install a window. Send me the bill. Well, Chris, first off, um, you having having uh, some dialogue or narrative about us breaking your window when you just admitted there wasn't a window in the first place, come on. I was just trying. I was just trying to get your attention. That's just being silly. That's just being silly. Well, it's we're, also silly to think that I'm going to make a scene civil. instead of we're making sure my building. No, you're you. not. Yes, we are. You are not trying to be nobody, civil. Nobody if you guys were trying to be civil, you would be paying attention to what's really going on in Alberta and yeah. and taking care of the health and safety so of Albertans. You, so would you? You would recognize that uh, when we actually make decisions about about a food business, that we want you to pay attention to the sort of things that we've told you in a letter, and we've asked you to meet with us. You have not. Okay, I didn't see that part in the letter, and and I don't have any instruction on that from my council either. So, why you guys would not have an open dialogue with me, phone call, email, something like that, like you've always done, and choose to bury it in a letter is beyond me. I've been asking for months to sit down with AHS and talk about this crap. Chris. I just saw evidence that you saw the suspension letter mm -hmm. by actually all of the paperwork that you left all over the permit, mm -hmm. which I which I uh, seized today. So from my perspective, that was evidence to me that you <clears throat> saw the letter and you reviewed it. No, that's evidence that the letter is there, not that I saw it and reviewed it. Well, but you're still from the sounds of Chris, you are willing to have dialogue with AHS. I've always been willing to have okay. dialogue with AHS. All right, yeah. and and I don't think that the dialogue portion is is something that's off the table or anything now. That's what they want. I, I, I can't, am I? Absolutely right. right. No, they, what, well, okay, I'm glad you said that, but what I, what I feel like is they want compliance at all costs. We would like to make sure that we have a consistent picture in Alberta. Um, our policymakers, such as uh, Premier Kenny and Dr. Hinshaw, has made some decisions around what will protect Albertans. Other business owners are following the law, you are not. Okay, so you're telling me that our policymakers have made decisions, the same type of decisions that they made before, that didn't work. They've moved the goalposts. So they've told us it's going to be two weeks, and then three weeks, and then three months, and then three years. That's uh, the, the bottom line is I want to make sure your business is, is okay. I think it's reasonable for you to actually uh, go in there and make sure that what your employee did is actually squared away. I'd like to know your plans about the window. Well, you, you just said that you take, you've taken control of this building, so put a window in. So my bottom line is this. Um, if something happens and that window isn't fixed, there's a piece of plywood on the ground that used to be there, mm -hmm. screws on, it might be a good idea for you to actually put that back in place. You just told me that you're in care and control of this building. And we'll work with Stacy then in order to actually get that done. So if you don't want to cooperate, that's fine. Well, I, I have no problem cooperating. It doesn't sound like you are cooperating. <laughs> but you, it sounds like you, got, you guys are telling me that, that you're in control of the building and then you're asking me to make a repair. I will make the repair in the interest of the building. That, thank you. That's, That's all I was looking for. And then, Chris, if there's a, a list of items or there's something that you think that needs to be done, please let's just get that you know, listed out there, Chris. I don't, I don't know okay. exactly. Well, that's I know, and it's, it was early enough, so maybe those are things that you can think of, right? So yeah, well. they, I, I know the pumps are turned off, and you can speak with your employees to whatever else they did there. But if there's items that you can think of once you have a clearer head here, now that you've woken up, right? I know you're woken up early. Well, I need a coffee for sure. Exactly. So get the coffee, uh, think things through, have a list of things mm -hmm. that you think that are of concern to you in there, okay? Mm -hmm. And the fact that you're willing to speak with AHS and have that open dialogue, that's excellent. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for, okay? So there, that is not off the table. That That's still, that, that's on the table for sure. That's what they're looking for, okay? To come to a resolution. Mm -hmm. But uh, the only way to come to a resolution is going to be through dialogue. 
well, through forced compliance. So let's, let's take it one step at a time, okay? So if you can just have your coffee, take a good deep breath. Okay, well, let's get on with that, because okay. I'm, uh, yeah. Okay. All right, then. great. But we'll be in touch, okay, Chris? And uh, in AHS, you have his card there as well, and that would be the one that you need to speak with in regards to the dialogue. Board. So are they going to let me go in? Uh, well, I don't know. Because right now, I think we just need to... I, that's their decision, and mm. it's unfortunately, it's not my decision. It's, I don't, I don't have They're making shitty to... decisions right across so, the board. But I think what we need to do, though, which would be helpful, is to have a list of things that would be of concern in our view. And give reasons as to why you feel that you need to go in there to check those things. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're satisfied that uh, your employees, uh, your employee, shut everything off like she should have. So, um, but speak with your employee and find out what she did. So, okay. that, you know, so is there any any reason in particular why you're refusing to allow me to walk around in there and make sure that everything's done safely? I think it's in the interest of everyone's safety. We're going to get out of here, right. and, and now that our job is done. What do you mean in the interest of everyone's safety? Okay. Well, from our perspective, we don't need to to be around when everybody else rolls out of bed. Okay, well then let's get this done right away. It's done. It'll take five minutes. It's done. All I got to do is walk around the building, make sure I didn't leave anything in my office. So what? if I realize I left something in my office that I need, for instance, uh, I have orders to appear in there. I don't know the date or time of my court stuff. I got to go get that. We'll list those things down. Like you said, once you, you said you're going to have a coffee, you're going to think it through. Those type of Well, things. my coffee is in there. I need to go get it. Okay, well, you're not going to be able to go in there to get the coffee. But so you've got my business card. And from there, we'll negotiate when, what we can do the remainder of the day. Okay, well, I, I guess so. I don't really have any choice. There's nobody here to help me. You have the RCMP. They have your back. They don't have my back. So, so why exactly can we not go in? Just because of the safety. So uh, you have my business card. Call me. And we'll figure out exactly what we need to do. Oh, no. you know, any sort of, uh, okay, but you're here right now. What exactly do you think is unsafe about me going in there? Make a list. Confirm. Confirm with that. With you. you don't have an answer because you know it's not unsafe for me to go in my own building. So make a list. We'll respond to your need. And we'll go from there. legal documents in there. You can't stop us getting legal documents. Can I ask you a question before you leave? <laughs> I want to know why the flu doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Being drug away by their strings, okay. it's all right. So now they're all gonna leave. The this strings is are up their ass. They're all gonna leave now. Just to stand in front of their cars, sit in the car. I will. Oh, can <laughs> we go for a ride on the car? <laughs> <laughs> no, wow. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I got this three months ago. There go the brave AHS inspectors fighting for the health and safety of Albertans but scared to face them because they know what they're doing is wrong. I gotta go guys, I gotta phone my lawyer. I gotta have a shower, change my clothes, make some coffee and then continue planning a weekend. So. Don't forget, Friday and Saturday, biggest protest Alberta's ever seen. And we have all the more reason to protest now.